Do not do a morning routine if you are facing burnout. Why? Because... fam. And if you're new here, my name is Erica Hepperly. I am an intuitive lifestyle elevation coach and a coach of coaches. Really what I help you do is alchemize your pain and turn it into purpose. I help you heal through pains, traumas, wounds from childhood, past lives, generations beyond, and really step into and create a life of purpose, a life that feels divinely aligned. And so what I want to talk about today is routine versus ritual. A morning routine is really backed off of a list, right? It's destination focused. First I do this, then I do this, then I do this, then I do this, and then I'm done. Shut your books, check it off, cross off the list. It's very task oriented. And if you're coming from burnout, if you're coming from being deeply rooted in the masculine, which is the structure, the strategy, the routine, that's not going to make your day feel any more aligned. You're just adding more things to your to-do list. You're adding more things to your checklist. Whereas a ritual, you're grounding in feeling. You're grounding in what your intuition, your body, your, your soul is longing for. When I was first starting my journey, I was going to a corporate job. I was bodybuilding and I was trying to build an online business. And so my days looked like this. I would wake up at four o'clock in the morning, sometimes 3.30. I would eat my breakfast, go to the gym, come back home, um, journal, read, meditate, get ready for work, and drive to work, right? So I would come back from the gym around 5.30. Um, I would do my morning routine, and I would leave the house by, to be there at 8.30, so I'd leave at 7 a.m. So I'd wake up at 4, get to the gym, do my morning ritual, leave the house by 7. Eight, 7 to 8.30, I'd commute. 8.30 to 5.30, I'd work. 5.30 to 6.15, I would drive to um, Gold's Gym in Venice to get my like actual workout in. Um, the morning one was just cardio. And then I would drive back home, get home at like 9, do it all over again. Right? Very structured, very rigid that my morning routine just started to feel like another task that I was doing. So by the time I was done with my morning routine, I just felt like, oh my God, I've already done so much where it didn't fill my cup up. It almost drained my cup because it was another task that I had to do for the day. And so you can see that with that structure, with that rigidity, I was so rooted in the masculine that it was really difficult for me to, to be grounded, to know who I was, to know what lit my soul on fire because I was just doing a morning routine based off of what I had seen other people do on Instagram, based off of what my business coaches would, would teach me, but it wasn't really specifically lighting my soul on fire, getting me excited for the day. I didn't wake up excited to go into my morning. And so, as I started to embark deeper on this journey, um, a lot had transpired. I left my corporate job, I went into personal training, um, and I was still bodybuilding. I was still really deeply rooted in the masculine, really into structure, rigidity, until I started to reject the structure, reject the rigidity. And then I just rejected my morning routine altogether. I hated doing it. And so then I had nothing to lean on to, nothing to look forward to in the morning. And I felt really lost. I felt really alone. I felt really without direction, without purpose. And so as I started to really understand the difference between the masculine energy and the feminine energy, which I'm totally using the opposite hands, but the masculine's the um, right side, the feminine's the left side. But 
basically, as I started to understand the difference between the polarities, I realized that the structure, the strategy, the rigidity, the routine was not the only way to live. And so from there, um, I ended up leaving, ending bodybuilding, as you know from my story, if you haven't uh, watched my whole story, you can just go ahead um, and click to make sure that you go back and watch it. But um, I started to realize that the life of work hard, hustle more to get more success wasn't the only way to live. And in fact, there became a point when it was uh, the law of diminishing returns, meaning I would work harder, 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 harder to get the same results. So eventually I had to work even harder to get the same results that I did once when I was working less as hard, right? So um, I thought, well, there has to be something else that I can do. There has to be another way. And so as I started to um, be forced out of the bodybuilding world because my I didn't have a period for three years. My hormones shut down. Um, I had to get blood work. I was gaining weight. I was forced to quit the structure of weightlifting and really lean into a flow of yoga, of walking outside in nature, which is the feminine energy. And so through that, I started to see that... Um, that actually grounded me more into my physical body, more into my life, made me more excited to wake up than that rigid structure did. And so as I started to explore different workshops um, to just find healing within my physical body, I realized that I also didn't know who I was. And so you can see why I'm saying if you're so in the burnout, so in the structure, so in the rigidity the morning routine won't allow you to con to learn yourself in more depth if you're so structured here. And so I started to realize, okay, well, what really makes me excited? I don't know. I'm not sure. And so if you don't know what makes you excited, what lights your soul on fire, the more structure, more, str more rigidity in your morning isn't going to allow you to do that. And so from there... I really t started to spend the time exploring healing workshops. I went to every workshop possible from sound healing to um, intimacy workshops to breath work to lucid dreaming, Akashic record readings, meditation, past life regression, higher self meditations. I just was open to saying yes to everything. And from there, I started to see what rituals really lit my soul on fire, what rituals really made me excited to wake up in the morning, what made me excited to go to those types of workshops. And so I started to go to more of those. And so the reason why I share this is because exploration, trying new things, switching up from a routine into a ritual is going to allow you to understand yourself more. And so from ritual being task oriented, destination focused, right? From here, to step one to step two to step three, I'm trying to get to step five. You're very structured and rigid. Whereas ritual practice is really based off of the present moment. What feels good for me right now? What feels good for me in this moment? What makes me excited? And it really becomes a feeling focus rather than a destination focus. And so I really challenge you to shift into a perspective of morning ritual. How can I find what feels good for me right now? What feels good for you on a Monday morning might not be the morning you wanna start with on a Friday. I just finished with a client call and I asked her what her day-to-day -day was like, right? Brand new client. And she said, I don't know, it's always different. It depends. I also asked, um, another person what how they start their mornings and it was very different how they broke it down based on what they had going through their day so this is why I started to want to record this video is because we don't have to start our day off the same every single day when we are in a say maybe a day of sales calls maybe we start our day off different than a day of creating content and so from there what I really challenge you to do for a morning ritual to first learn what lights your soul on fire? 
If you hate journaling, maybe it's looking at a voice journal, right? If you hate meditation, maybe that's more of a movement style meditation, like a walk outside. And a lot of times we get caught up in this world of healing, in this world of self-development, because you read a book and that's how they did it and that's what worked for them. But we get to write our own formula for what works best for us on specific days. Not only one, do you get to understand what lights your soul on fire by exploring. That's why Fearless and Flourish uh, six month mentorship and mastermind program that I run is giving you so many tools to put in your toolbox. I don't tell you how to start your morning. I give you the tools that I allow you to create your morning, allow you to create what works best for your healing. So it's exploring, finding a way to explore, whether that's enrolling in a mentorship program like Fearless and Flourish, whether that's going to workshops in your area, whether that's signing up for online challenges, right? Really exploring what lights your soul on fire, what modality works best for you. And then two is taking about five to 10 of those modalities that really work for you and maybe writing them on a whiteboard, writing down which modalities feel best. And then in the morning, you get to wake up and ask yourself what you need for that morning. And knowing you have 10 grab bag items to pull from, maybe you pick three and you execute on those. So um, taking maybe instead of a hard workout because you know you're gonna need to be deeply rooted in sales, maybe it's a yoga flow and a walk outside, right? So it's, it's getting out of the masculine structure strategy into a place of flow with the feminine and being able to ask yourself, what do I need, want, and desire in order to make myself operate or allow myself to operate as the highest version of myself today? The reason why I say do not do a routine if you're facing burnout or you're facing too much structure, too much masculine energy and move into a ritual is because then you get to really feel into what feels best for you, for the tasks that are at hand that day. Knowing what you want, creating the grab bag, waking up in the morning, asking yourself what I need, want, and desire for the day, letting yourself listen to that inner whisper, your intuition, it's always gonna lead you in the right direction. Your mind is gonna try to trick you out of it, right? Because it wants to keep you safe in the structure and strategy because that's control. We can let go of a little bit of control in your morning, you'll allow yourself to let go of a little bit of control in your life, right? So if you think about fear, um, if you think about structure, it's based off of fear. It's based off of so much control. And I'm not saying just screw the structure, by no means. I'm just saying if you're in a place of burnout, you've been doing structure and strategy and all the, the routines for so long, I challenge you to shift into a place of ritual. And really what that allowed me to do is through my story of being in a space of so much structure, so much like really wounded masculine and feminine energy, I was able to heal my relationship with structure and strategy. And, um, and eventually I stopped rejecting it. So when I came out of bodybuilding, I rejected the structure and strategy. And it really did not allow me to move through life um, in balance. It was really just like so leaned into the feminine that I was so in a place of flow that I couldn't get shit done. And so you don't want to be too far in a place of flow or too far in a place of structure. You want to be able to have a dance between both. And so with the ritual, I really, I really, really challenge you to to try it, to give it a, to give it a whirl if you're really in a place of deep stru structure and strategy. And so through that, I was able to move out of bodybuilding, move out of the personal training life and into a place of flow where I now move my body based off of what feels good. I now train my body based off of what my inner being is needing. Because if you listen, if you open up your your intuitive ears to hear what your intuition or your soul has to say, it's always gonna guide you in the right direction. That's with eating, that's with per people, uh, like friendships, relationships, that's with business, that's with the next step that you're supposed to take. 
You're always being led and guided in the right direction by your intuition and something greater than you. And so really being able to understand when do I need more ritual and when do I need more routine? And the difference between the two, routine is task-oriented, destination-focused, checking things off the list in a structured way, whereas ritual is very present moment, feelings-focused, and it is rooted in the now. And so you can see that there's a time and place for both, and it's being able to ask yourself, when do I need what? So for a season of my life, when I left bodybuilding, I needed ritual. I needed to have a really big flow. And now I know what days I need ritual and what days I need routine. And so then you get to live from a place of intuition, understanding of what you need, want, and desire, rather than being told what you're supposed to do or what creates success or what a successful person does you get to create your own formula for how you show up on every single day. There are some days where I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. There are some days when I have eight hours of calls that I allow myself to sleep in. Those would be maybe my rest days for, um, for training. Or maybe I wake up that morning, I was gonna have a rest day and I decide that I actually need to go to yoga, right? So it's really having this discernment between understanding there are polarities in life. There is the feminine, the ritual-based energy, and there is the masculine, the structure, the strategy-based energy. And rather than picking one or the other, trying them on and seeing what works best in which situation in your life. Trying on when it's really good to be in a place of leadership, structure, implementation, and when it's a good place to play, to flow, to just be in a place of sensuality, right? So I... Hope that leaves something for you. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you're wanting to learn more about, maybe specific techniques or tools that you can add into your morning ritual, um, but just let me know. Don't forget, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe. That does, does me, does me um, a really big favor to grow this channel. I just want to give you all of the tools, techniques, understandings in order to move you out of your pain and into purpose, in order to amplify your life, elevate your life, to create the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for listening and I'm sending you all the love.